Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. Today we are going to bring, up, bring back our memories from GTA San Andreas into Unity. What we are exactly going to do is to import the map into Unity with all the textures. I mean not just one single object. The whole map of GTA San Andreas. So, first what we need to have is to open up Blender. Uh, this method only works with Blender version 2.79. After you open up Blender, you need to go to User Preferences, go into Add-ons, and install add-on from file. I have my add-on in my download folder here, GTA Tools for Blender. I'll put a link in the description for downloading this. Now, I will go to my C Users Coach and press my downloads folder here. Uh, here, you select the zip file and select add-on from file. Now, you I want you to go to 3D View and select 3D View GTA Tools. Now, close this. Close the file explorer. Now, go into GTA 10. So, first we go to the GTA San Andreas folder and select your GTA San Andreas folder. Okay, now we are good to go. So, we can select which part of the map we would like to load. I want to go for LAE2. Now, Select here and also select this one, show import options. So, remember this one. We want to select the skip LOD objects because we don't need those for right now. And if you need them for later, you can select, deselect this one and select this one to only import the LOD objects. But right now, we stick to this one. After that, go over to window and toggle system console we would like to see the process as it's going then we will go and select load LAE this would take several minutes depending on your system here you can see the whole process now the models have been imported and it took me about 40 seconds so if we just zoom out we can see the models right here. So now with all the objects selected, make sure to all select all of them. Go into the GT tab and we want to extract the textures of our models. So just select the folder that you want your textures to be exported. Select uh, texture and uh, select the folder for extracting textures. Now we have to come down here and select extract txt and make sure to, you to select uh, PNG and RGBA for the alpha. Uh, again, you can see the process in the console window. So select extract txt. I had mine extracted before this so it didn't take any time for me about 20 seconds wait for it to assign images yep 23 seconds make sure do not ever click on this because this will close the whole blender just minimize it now uh, the textures are on our model right now, but we can't see this. So, we should go to the Word tab and select the environment lighting and make sure the energy is set to 1. Come here and select the viewport shading to material. Beautiful, ain't it? We have the textures on our model right now exactly what was in our dreams. Now, 
We want to extract the FBX of our model. I will just go to models. I had it um, exported before, but I'll do it just again. It's fine. Export the FBX. It has finished. Now uh, there is nothing more left with Blender. Just close it. I don't want to save it. Now let's open up Unity. I had my project and uh, created before the tutorial. Uh, I opened it in uh, HDRP. Make sure you do it in HDRP because uh, you will get much more visual effects. Okay, now we are in Unity and going to the desktop. And uh, first of all, we need to import the textures folder into Unity. I had done this before, here you can see the texture, so I don't need to do it anymore. Just cancel it. I go to textures, GTA 3, and you can see the textures in here. So, after that, we need to do the same thing for the models. Take this into Unity, and I have done this before, so I don't need to do it again, but you have to. So I'm going to, go to models and you can see the LAE2 showing up in the inspector. Just take it into viewport and set the position to 0, 0, 0. And set this to minus 90 and you must be able to see the LAE2 in Unity. Here is our memory it's of GTA Sunrise. With all the textures on it, exactly the same models, everything in its place. Now, one of the problems is that we don't have the materials, so we can change the roughness or smoothness, metallicness, our things, and also we have these artifacts on our models. So, we should have, uh, we should now extract the materials. So just select the LA2 in the project window, go into materials tab, and you can see the materials all are not selected. This happens because the materials are embedded into the FBX itself. So we have two options. First, we can select materials, extract materials, and we will select the folder inside the Unity project. So I won't do this because this will and create materials based on the model's name, not based on the texture's name. So this won't be good. What we need to do, and it's better to do, is to go on the memory map, select by base texture name, and select project file. And then we select search memory map. But we won't do this right now because we won't have the materials yet. So just revert this, go in here, and create a cube. You can see it here. Now, going to the textures just uh, that we just imported into Unity, go in here and filter it, filter it by texture. Make sure that it's in GTA3 folder. Select all the textures and take them all into this cube. This will create materials for every single texture that we have in GTA3 folder. This might take some time, so I will just pause the video. Now the process has been finished and it has created materials for every uh, textures in our GTA 3 folder and you can see the last material applied to the cube. So just delete the cube, we don't need it right now. And go into the textures, I'll make sure to delete this one. Go into GTA 3 and random select one and you can see the materials folder in it. You can see the materials created for the textures. So, then we will go to Models and select LA2 and now we can do the search on demand remand. So, select by base texture name, this will select the materials by, the, by their texture name and instead of recursive up, select project by and select search and remap. This will take a bit of time. Now that it has finished, you can see the materials 
on the trees and I'm not sure why it's a bit slow right now just like the one of the trees and in the materials tab you can select this one and you will see it here now you can zoom in and change out metallicness it doesn't affect it color 2 does this Oh yeah, you can see. This is for this one. It's okay. Now the tutorial is about to finish. Uh, just one more thing we have to do and makes it uh, look uh, much better. So going to model step again and select our map and go into model. So I want to show you the problem we have right now and um, it's let me find one good example of it where should I go I think here is a good place so you can see the hardness on the edges it's like they are completely separate and uh, that's because normals are not so good so the normals in here are uh, are checked on import but we want to calculate it uh, ourselves so we just like calculate and uh, smoothing angeles it's about 60 I think it's better to lower it about 45 it's a better value and just select apply it will calculate the normals for all models now it's much better right now and we can see the hardness on the edges and it looks like that this is a this is completely all together now uh, one more thing left to do is that if you look like yes the textures are not so high quality as the distance goes up so we will just go into our textures folder gta3 and again filter it by textures and select all the textures we have in our folder and increase the initial level to some value I think it's better. Select apply and wait. Now everything is finished. You can uh, do the whole exact same thing with the other parts of the map. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like below and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. I will respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.